Hello everyone, welcome to the Extreme Tick channel. For today's video, uh, I'm gonna do a root uh, in position on a 10 inch uh, carbon pipe. Uh, it's a uh, SCAD 80, we got a T here. Uh, so basically, uh, just to fit up, I got a uh, three tacks. Uh, I used that uh, stepped wedge uh, to make the gap even. Uh, I was using 532. Uh, it's a pretty nice good handy tools to have uh, even if you green or if you pro it's gonna help you it's gonna keep you that uh, even and consistent uh, the the gap all the way around as I said 532 uh, it's like a wedge and a gauge so you can push and pull up and up uh, as you can see I got the two torches here uh, they both rated on 150 amps uh, that's why I got two uh, they're getting hot really really fast really quick uh, it's uh, really easy to worn out uh, all those parts, so you gotta change them for, uh, really frequently. That's why I like uh, using two. Is the only rated at 150. Uh, I'm on the route. I'm gonna I'm gonna run 130, 135 amps. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, three root tacks on a three, six, and nine o'clock. We're gonna start at the bottom, and uh, gonna start at the bottom on the six o'clock. And we're gonna go up on uh, this side up to three o'clock, and then we're gonna feather out those uh, those tags. So for a uh, cup, it's a uh, size eight uh, tungsten uh, one eight two percent toriated. Uh, for the filler wire is a uh, one eight seven yes six. As I said, one thirty one thirty five amps on a uh, for the root pass. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk the cup or wiggle that cup inside the inside that root. You can do like. Uh, two ways you can with the bottom like a uh, regular or with, with a top part of your cup I like to do both it depends from the position and uh, everything else uh, so uh, for the bottom I like for the tack when you start uh, just uh, preheat once it start melting when you create that good uh, nice uh, temperature amperage then you can uh, just uh, keep uh, moving side to side mo motion slowly progressing up uh, keep the rod uh, we're constant with the uh, connected to do it puddle keep that rod slightly inside as you can see here it's not like a back feed it's uh, similar to lay wire technique it's just uh, the angle the inclination you have to find for yourself uh, it's not uh, there's no any specific uh, angle i can tell you it's uh, 25 33 or 15 it's something that you have to find up for yourself uh, to see what's working for you uh, that's the root i did so far looks root looks good looks nice looks all right solid as long as you have a nice solid root there's not going to be any worries for a sock back later on on uh, with a with a hot pass so for uh, for the tax i'm going to do a feather tax we got a feather boat, uh, pretty much all tack, but you want to have uh, that entry and exit points uh, feather out, like you can see here, and kind of a little built up in the middle. And for the stop starts as well, always grind out, especially when you're using uh, equipment I do with a scratch start. There's no actually any uh, controlled, uh, usually those uh, fancy torches, they got uh, stop start uh, on their handle, actually on the torch pause stop start uh, not in this case this is only 75 bucks torch that's what uh, most of the companies they like to do they want to do million million dollar jobs with a 75 dollar take torch anyway let's have to say uh, spend uh, dollars to save pennies okay so here for we continue on preheat uh, keep that wire inside Keep that part, keep that constant connection uh, or constant feed. Uh, just to feed enough, uh, you're gonna have nice, uh, good solid uh, build-ups, good nice solid uh, root protrusion inside. Uh, so for the tie in here, when you go up to the tack, I like to do slow down. I wanna see uh, both edges uh, before tack. I like to slow down, pause on the sides. I just go a little bit faster over that middle. And then on the end, when it starts open, opening up, uh, just uh, try to make a nice, uh, nice good connection and uh, try not to lose connections like do here, but I'm gonna keep uh, keep nice good solid connection again and just continue on. 
Okay, that's the root section I did so far, just taking shot from the outside, uh, from the other side of the of the gap. Okay, I just uh, got a little issue with that lightning inside, and uh, that's that's the route I got to that uh, three o'clock on the other side. Uh, as you can see here, I, I put a wedge on the top as a uh, pipe starts shrinking, that gap starts closing up on me. Uh, so I'm gonna go up up to one o'clock. This is where I'm gonna stop. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Just grind that stop start and. Uh, here I am, I'm now right at uh, around 1 o'clock, this is where we're gonna stop. So before I do anything on the top, I'm just gonna continue on welding on the other side, from the bottom up to 11 o'clock on the other side, and then we're gonna pull that edge out. Okay, as you can see here, uh, the gap is still even, 532. Uh, we're gonna weld up to that gap, feather out, and then continue up on the top, on the, up to 11 o'clock. So the same thing, uh, if you want you can uh, f you can grind out little uh, stop starts here on that uh, on the tack. Same thing, uh, keep the inclination, keep the rod slightly inside as you can see here. I uh, just, uh, I keep that rod, it's inside that, uh, inside that root, inside that bevel, inside that edge. And uh, just uh, feed feed enough. Uh, I can't tell you how much you can feed. It's something you have to find out by, by your own. You know, you have to have that feeling how, how much uh, you should be able to, to deposit inside, especially on the sides here. When you go in the sides, I know you lots of guys struggle uh, um, to have a big uh, build up on, on the side on the nine o'clock. But here, as you can see here, just uh, place that rod slightly inside, uh, outside. Don't, don't keep that rod inside that root. Keep it like 50-50, you know, half part on the outside, uh, uh, the, the half rod on the inside. And then you're gonna have something like this. It's not gonna be like uh, lots of grapes on the, on the side. Okay, this is the last shot I'm taking from inside because we're gonna put a... We gotta put a, an, another fitting on that T so it's gonna be closed. I'm not gonna be able to do any more shots. So far it's good, it's, uh, that should be good enough. There's always a little that edge, you know, between fitting and a spool. Okay, now, uh, as I said, feather out that tack, uh, feather out stop starts and uh, continue on. Uh, if you missed the, the, previous, uh, the, previous, the previous shot I did, uh, when you tie in, when you tie into that tack, pause slow down here i like to see both connection as i said before i before i reach that tack you can dip at both sides you know and then just go a little bit you can run over and then pause a little bit here and then keep road slightly but as i said uh, because pipe was uh, start closing on me starts start shrinking then you can uh, do a dipping technique just dip, uh, dip both edges, or you can dip right in the middle and stretch that puddle on the both sides. Just uh, keep doing uh, motion, you know, side to side. Uh, you gotta have good timing, you know, how much rod you can deposit, so you don't have any, do not sag down. As you can see here, now we're gonna pull that uh, wedge out. It's uh, really tight, I tried to pull it by my hand, but it's, it's a no-go, so I'm gonna hammer that out. Uh, probably I'm gonna damage that bevel now. There's no land anymore. I got probably 1.8 land. So I'm gonna open up with a 1.8 uh, disc and uh, you, you gotta do uh, by yourself. I gotta do, I'm gonna do feather edge on both sides of the of the bevel. Like for a bevel edge, uh, the best thing I find out is uh, if it's a zip cut actually. It's a little bit uh, difficult. Uh, if you're not so experienced, you gotta be really careful not uh, break down that disc or get injured so it's not still uh, fully open for 1.8 but good enough uh, to keyhole technique uh, you can go a little bit harder crank up a little bit amperage you know if like right now you can go 140 145 and just to keep keyhole technique the deep rod in the middle and uh, stretch that puddle keep tungsten always sharp uh, you can change uh, nozzle like a, or a cup like for this uh, for this size of a group, 1.8 is good enough for me. 
if you got a little less uh, you can you can put a cup size six so it fit nice inside and you can actually wiggle that and go and go fast as you can see here add rod in the middle and stretch that paddle one two three one two three it's a little bit uh, coordination between your your two hands you know once you got the uh, dial in uh, shouldn't be any worries uh, it should be worries for any grapes uh, especially on the top part because the gravity is not gonna sag down it's uh, more than enough uh, root deposit inside it's gonna be nice even uh, root nice beautiful ring and for the tie-in on the top the same thing is on the sides for the for the for the tack I did uh, tie-ins just uh, pause a little bit on beginning add the uh, keep adding wire and once you go over go like half inch over to have nice smooth uh, blend tie-in and that's it pretty much for the root pass uh, it's still hot uh, run buffing wheel when it's still hot so you don't have any impurities inside that purity when you run a hot pass uh, all impurities if you got on the root it might just um, make you a little bit more uh, difficult uh, to control that puddle uh, that's why it's a good habit just to run a buffing wheel uh, even you can run a grinder a little bit if you don't so you don't have any obstacles inside inside that group so you can you can actually drive that uh, cup nice and smooth uh, the same thing you can both sides on a cup depends what you prefer and uh, for the hot pass 160 easy it's gonna burn that rod nice and easy you're gonna have a nice good uh, uh, deposit uh, don't no worries about a uh, suck back it's not gonna happen as long as you have a nice good solid root inside you shouldn't be worried much about uh, suck back here on the side and uh, and on the top part that's the best the easiest part actually now you're you're resting your hand it's just it's a wrist motion guys and just uh, keep that slow down here a little bit just to see how you stretch that puddle nice and covers all that uh, groove inside as long as it's nice and clean you're gonna have that nice clean uh, nice clean puddle you can see everything what's going on it's a, it's a really beautiful process this is the best part actually of uh, and a cap and that's it uh, this side is done one section uh, is done with a hat pass we still got the uh, other side left and the top part and that's it uh, the hot pass is done on the both sides uh, I'm just gonna run a buffing wheel once again uh, clean all that uh, and uh, later on I'm gonna do uh, uh, fill to flash it's gonna be one pass and cap but it's gonna be for uh, for next video that's coming up after this so if you guys are interested you can check it out later usually some guys they go like two passes three passes with a cap uh, or even two pass caps but just gonna do one pass uh, fill to flash and one pass cap and that's it pretty much guys uh, for this uh, today's video thanks for watching and see you in the next one take care